requires a yes or no. I am not going to be intimidated by my mother and my brother. No one is intimidating you. What proof do they have? These accusations. No one's accusing you. I'm not accusing you, and they're not accusing you. I am asking you a question, and I am waiting for an answer. An answer you think you already know. Am I wrong? You see, you will believe everyone except your wife. I am waiting to hear from my wife. But I don't dignify that question with an answer. You can't even tell the truth now, can you? Well, you know the truth. I want a baby as much as you do. Then why are you taking these? Where did you get that? I found them in the back of your dresser drawer. You had a massacre snooping in my face? I had to because it seems to be the only way to get the truth out of you. Whatever are you talking about? Well, I heard it from Benjamin. Because that woman claims that she knows you from somewhere. Why, that's ridiculous. When would our paths ever have crossed? Precisely what I said. I said your backgrounds were far too divergent. But where would the woman have come up with such an idea? Well, I don't know, but evidently she made that statement to Edna, and then Edna repeated it to Benjamin. Edna? <laughs> well, of course. Edna's had it in for me ever since she had the mistaken notion that I was interested in her. She claims that Virgil even mentioned it to you one time. Mentioned it to me? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember any such occasion. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm giving you this a moment, please. Well, of course, dear. Hello? Oh, Lena. Oh, I haven't heard from you in a long time. Oh, really? Why did you hear that? I didn't know it actually accepted the application. Oh, how funny. You didn't want to be not in it. I know that woman. What did you? You didn't admit that, did you? Certainly not. I, I, I gave her the business and got out of there as quick as I could. If it ever comes to her where we met. Where was it? Oh, it was years ago on a carnival. I snatched up Paris. You what? That's right. The old battle axe got a stranglehold on me and beat me within an inch of my life. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just one minute. You mean murder did that? That woman is a powerhouse. She's definitely the violent type. Shakes me straight to the fuzz. <laughs> what is all this happen? Oh, it's engraved on my mind. The peak of Kansas. I can see the jail cell now. <laughs> oh, you about your small world. It's not funny, Edward. I feel you there and say he figures out who I am, and I'm in deep trouble. I have got something very important that I want to ask you. Yeah. Well, it's so obvious I don't know why it didn't occur to me before, but... Kelly, I want you to remember back very carefully to the night of the murder. I can't. I can't. I can't remember anything after I ran out. I just can't. But I'm not talking about afterwards. I'm talking about before. Do you remember anything at all? Because you remember Ed right up to that point, don't you? Yes, I'm, yes. Okay. Now you tell me this. Did you ever, ever go into Eddie's office before your first performance that night and steal his gun? No, of course not. I didn't want to touch it. Good. Kelly, we've got nothing to worry about. What are you talking about? Darling, it's so simple. It's so simple. I don't know why I didn't see it before. There is no way, no way in the world that you could have killed Eddie. Because don't you remember? Freddie said that Eddie's gun had been stolen before your first performance that night. <sighs> you see? You see, somebody else had to have taken that gun. Somebody else had to have killed Eddie. Even if by some far stretch of the imagination you had, you'd have run out of the chateau, gone to Eddie's office to get the gun, it 
wasn't there, Kelly. something like this. I had good reason. There is no good reason to lie about wanting a baby. Well, I had to, Tom. You were so insistent. And you, so willing. Well, listen, I haven't, I haven't been on the pills for a long time. Oh, come on. No, I really haven't. I just started going on here because of the disco. The disco? Well, I didn't dare get pregnant now, you know. I just wanted to get the place off the ground. Is that right? Then you tell me why there were only five pills left out of a full container. Tom, there were only, there were only 28 pills in the whole container to begin with. Which means that you have been on them for at least 23 days. No telling how many other containers before this one. No, that's not true. I only had just that one. What difference does it make when you have all of them on them? You lied to me. She told me all along you wanted to have a baby. And all the time these were stuck in the back of your drawer. I was going to go off them. I really was. No. No, it's too late. Because I don't care if you choke on these pills. Oh, don't say that. I told you after your disco to see that if you lied to me one more time that that would be the end of our marriage. Should I didn't lie to you? You lied to me every time you took one of those pills. But you can't mean that that's the end of our marriage. That is exactly what I mean. But are they off the pills? Are they off the night now? You did not hear what I said, Erica. I said it's too late. I don't care what you do now. Our marriage is finished. You don't mean that. You can't mean that. I want you out of my apartment, and I want you out now. Your apartment? Yes, my apartment, my furniture. And I want you and your belongings out, and I want you out now. Is that understood? Tom, Tom, you can't be serious. I mean, you can't throw me out of my own home. My home. My home before I ever met you, and I'm not the inconvenienced. But I don't be either. I mean, I'm your wife. We will have this going on, Mary Jane. We will be the one to move out. I just told you I'll go off the pills. I'll go off them right now. And I just told you that I don't care. Now you get out of here. And you get your bags packed. And you get everything out of the apartment by tonight. Or I will throw everything on the street. Tom. Please don't do this to me. We can work it out. There's nothing left to work out. You call the shots, Erica. You're getting just what you ask for. Then where will I go? Frankly, I don't give a damn. <laughs> 